Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, recording it for a second time because I totally forgot I was trying to save people from spoilers and I accidentally showed something. So today's video is going to be me going over the new JP Servant because I'm curious to see what she does because she looks interesting. So that's going to be today's video. Let's go. Now her banner, which I'm not going to show, has uh, f is Fairy Knight related, so it's another banner. They already re-ran Morgan before this one, but this is another banner in which you can try and get uh, Fairy Knight Tristan and Fairy Knight Gawain. Two fantastic girls here. And then we have Britomar, who is the actual uh, new servant. Hopefully I'm saying that name right, but I'm always assuming I'm saying it wrong. So this is how she looks in stage one, and then this is how she looks in stage two. And then three, and then four. Uh, this is the same artist that does um, uh, Helena, and a lot of people were making the joke of like this feels like uh, because if you did not know this, Helena, who is the let me just show her real quick. If you don't know who she is, actually, funny enough, I'm gonna assume there's people that probably don't know who she is. Um, there you go, Helena. Yeah, see, the same person, Matsuryu. People were making the joke, he actually had a concept art of Helena much older, and that went unused. So a lot of people were saying they just put, he just put all the energy he had into that one into this girl. She don't feel like it, but it's cool. She has a cool big old mech form, and then later on she has one with boob stuff on it. So both of them pretty good. Uh, how does she fit around in that giant armor, considering she has literally no muscle mass? I have no idea. Magic, maybe? Let's go with magic. Huh? Let's go. Who knows how these fey people go. So yeah, Brito Mart, who is, I believe, supposed to be a, another, not another version, but inspired, someone who was inspired by Bradamante, I think? Or the person who Bradamante is inspired by? I don't know. The lineage is, is that I believe that she's inspired by Bradamante, and Bradamante is inspired by a bunch of other things, and you know how it goes. Anyway, the active skills, let's go. Fortress Angela, Queen Citadel, Wave, uh, wave Male C+, grants sel uh, self-invincibility for two attacks, three turns, increase on MP generation rate for three turns, increase on critical attack chance resistance for three turns, MP rate is 30%, critical chance resistance is 30%, that's not bad, it's actually very good. Uh, oh, by the way, she has two quick, one arts, two buster, and I believe her... Uh, AoE is... she's an AoE unit with quick, so that kind of go into that. Virtue of Chastity. A. Gain crit stars. Gain crit stars for every turn for three turns. Grant self debuff immunity for three turns. Increase own critical damage for three turns. Stars, 10. Star regen, 10. Crit damage up is 30%. Third skill, Fairy Knight, Fairy Kingdom C. Increase own quick performance for three turns. Increase own buster performance for three turns. Charge on NB gauge. Wow, she literally is 30%, 30%, 30%. This is literally just Bradamante, but better. Her entire skit is basically what Bradamante does, but just better. <laughs> She's even the same class. They could have just buffed Bradamante. If they, apparently they know why to make her better. Because this is just straight up a better version of what she already does. Anyway, passive skill, magic resistance B+. A pen skill for third is a bonus against Avengers. And her noble phantasm is Penetrate Blood Dude, Fairy Knight Tempest Warcry, a six hit quick, that's good. Ignore invincibility for one turn, increase on damage against riding enemies by 50% for one turn, deals damage to all enemies, 600% at level one and at level five it is 1000, and then deal extra damage against rider enemies at 150% rider. Jesus Christ, this woman's gonna be completely destroying rider servants. And then at the, if you get it all the way to the final charge level, it's 200%. And that's this unit. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, one thing that I like, I've mentioned all the time when it comes to Quick Servants. Quick is in a weird place because they have supports, but they don't have the right support, which is a support that will give them... They'll push them over the edge, similar to how, like, you know, Buster got one and how Arts had one. Quick has a bunch of very good, solid Quick ones, but they don't have one that will bring them into another modern age just yet. Um, that being said, to wit fit perfectly in with what they got now, I think gen MP generation is pretty key, because that's what you need for a quick servant in general, is that it's not enough to just do this, to charge on MP gauge, this is very good, obviously it helps a whole bunch, but if you can actually increase your MP generation rate, it's going to help a whole bunch, and she's able to do that, which is pretty nice. 
Uh, 30% is nothing to, too bad. I think the best person to do it is Dantes. Dantes is able to be one of the best quick servants without a single NP rate up. With, uh, without a single NP gauge up. He just has NP rate. And I think it's like 100% or something like that. That or 50%. Let me double check on this one. But it's between one of the two. Big difference between the two. So that's why I'm doing a quick double check. But it is a lot. It is 50%. There you go. Um, so it's pretty important that Quick Servants have that, and she has that pretty built in, and then she also has a second skill in case there's a thing you don't want, you want to use her in that doesn't, that would require you to actually deal damage with her regular cards, which occasionally that will happen. Um, so it's nice that she's able to create stars like crazy and then also do a bunch of crit damage with it. So I think she ends up coming off pretty nice. So I would say she definitely would have a use. Unfortunately, I haven't actually seen how she reacts in real time but just basically looking on paper here she should work perfectly fine a whole bunch of hits is what you want in a quick NP um, because the uh, the MP gain on quick cards is lower slightly lower than usual compared to at least arts the more hits a noble phantasm for quick has the better the more chance it has to gain up NP charge per hit um, so it's good that it has at least six hits that should be plenty enough so in paper should be especially against like writing enemies funny enough i don't know writer she might deal a decent chunk of damage against writers if you were i guess depending on the circumstance not against enemies because actually enemies don't have the writing who has writing actually it's all servants literally just servants and as you can see here a lot of dudes have writer um and it's not only like specifically um writers who have writing it's literally like sabers it's uh, archers, <laughs> lancers. Um, I want to say there's even some who are assassins. Fucking Nero has one because she's a caster. Berserkers, alter egos, foreigners. Literally, moon cancers. Even <laughs> literally, every class has something. It's a very common thing to just give to someone a trait. Mash has it even. And she doesn't even ride a damn horse. She just has it to have it. But anyway, I digress. She'll do perfectly fine against servants. Um, so yeah, I think she's pretty cool. And that's all I have to say about her for now. If you actually summoned and you were able to get her and you're able to test her out, let me know how she actually is. She seems very interesting to me. I really like Helena's art. Um, I think Helena's a cool person. So it's nice to see that the artist was actually... Able and a lot of it actually does come down to her art. I really do like her art and the way she was designed. So I kind of like that this guy got another chance at someone, at a new servant, and that's pretty cool. And I also like that this is this unit is just straight up Bradamante. I think even down to the Noble Phantasm, because the Noble Phantasm is similar to Bradamante's in that Bradamante's has an infamous Noble Phantasm because it just shows her butt in a really big screen. If you ever use Bradamante, then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's literally the only reason most people use Bradamante, because she's worse at <laughs> grinding than... <laughs> a lot of she's like third best and it's behind two four stars at least on the na version of the game it's gonna be different in the jp so forgive me on that one if i didn't get it 100 percent right but at least on the na version of the game right now she's like the third best and she's a five star compared to the other two who are four star um and you really only use her because you occasionally see a butt while grinding and this is basically like a boob version of bradamante so there you go what more could you ask for, really, from Fate? It has, it seems to have it always. So, there you go. That's the end of this video. I have to figure out if I'm going to be summoning for her uh, in two years. So, I'll say right now, if you're on the JP version of the game, something to look out for. They did say that this is the last unit that they're showing for this year. I think that's the way it's kind of being implied, that this is going to be the last unit for the year that they're going to reveal. Uh, Lost Belt 7 is going to be in December, but they also aren't releasing a banner to go with Lost Belt 7 because they don't want people to get spoiled, which means it's going to be something big. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be, but it's obvious it's going to be huge. So I would say be on the lookout for that. If anyone is willing to say we're not showing it right now, you should immediately be afraid about what they're going to show. Just in general. That's never a good sign when Fago that makes all its money, usually right when a banner comes out uh, for a Lost Belt, because that's when they make their most money, is saying we're not releasing it right now. 
we're gonna hold off on it during December during Christmas that's crazy that's enough to make your ears go up and go what the hell are you showing that will get people that crazy so something to keep in mind so probably for <laughs> to them Brito, Brito Mart is probably some kind of you know trap to steal your Saint Quartz but hey if you end up getting her then it's all worth it in the end I'd say so yeah, anyway Best of luck to you if you do end up summoning. I'll think about it in two years, how much I want to plan for it. This is going to be a very rough-ass year already because I still have to factor in Summer Ibuki and I'm still saving every single goddamn ticket I'm getting for her. <laughs> it's a long process, but we'll see if I, what I have left over from that. That's the end of the video, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.